Hi, I'm Lois Ewan, and um, I first noticed the appalling uh, empty shelf space some time ago, but I didn't know the reason for it until recently. Uh, one thing that I don't think people have mentioned is the, now that I see what Betsy Cup looks like, I can see that she is quite young and apparently has no respect for older out of print material. There's so much material now that is not being reprinted, you can never get it replaced. And to just recklessly, against the advice of the librarians here, completely in secret from the community, to throw that in dumpsters, aside from the waste there, is a disgraceful and a lesson that should be learned by apparently you're not the only librarian with this philosophy, but it is an abominable philosophy. It should be banned from library schools. To just to discard everything that's a few years old. I mean, most of it, there's so many books I have that are irreplaceable. This is next door to one of the world's great universities. You have a community with huge range of intellectual interests. And um, I, I find a lot of stuff by serendipity on the shelves. If you don't know it's there, you cannot find it. And if it's been thrown away, you'll never find it. My mother has never touched a computer. She is an avid reader at 91, but she's not going to. A lot of things that are coming out now um, are on, say, a digital format. She's never going to have access to that. Um, another thing is I'm seeing very shallow buying decisions, like 10 copies of a flop movie like White House Down that are constantly sitting around. I mean, let's have some more depth. Yeah. Community input, you know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers things. So You're here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Chaya Naya. And um, I just want to say that I'm a recent graduate of the Goldman School of Public Policy. And one thing that they completely engage us with in our studies is that one of the hardest things to do when you're in management and public policy is to engage your entire constituency. And when I enter this room, I feel like I'm not really a part of this room because I don't feel like the youth in our community is really being represented here. And so one topic I really want to talk about is that people who might not be in this room have an equally important say in the types of books that should be in the library and the types of activities that the library should be holding. And so I think that, um, for me, I'm a huge supporter of the idea of looking through a collection, making it smarter, making sure that the books are actually being used and that it actually is representative of the entire community. And so one thing I want to say is that in reading these books, one thing that we are doing is we're also opening space for new activities. Um, one thing that I'm really excited about is the maker movement entering into our libraries and being able to provide different spaces in the community that youth can actually come to to engage with the library in a different way. And um, being from a younger generation, I don't read physical books very often, but I would love to have a space to be able to come into where I can enjoy books, talk about ebooks, talk about the stuff that engages me, and be able to be a part of my community, and I think that the library represents that. Um, the last thing that I would want to say is I really want to applaud the use of statistics in actually looking at the um, library system. Um, I'm personally a consultant. I just graduated and work on regulatory database management. And one thing that we do is we actually use data and we use statistics in order to review past collections, in order to look at past regulatory frameworks, and be able to make decisions based on those collections. Speak English, and one thing that we do is um, we're actually able to look at past use of books and be able to use that past use in order to give us a pattern of what books need to be replaced, what books are actually being used, and which ones should be discarded. And um, I actually applaud the library for actually using statistics. And I think that that better actually represents the community and the constituency, because books that are being used, books that haven't been in circulation and actually are being um, utilized by the public are the ones that are staying in the library, while the ones that um, have no history of use are the ones that are getting discarded. So I think that more so represents the community. Um, so yeah, I, I know that that um, hurts some people because, yes, there are good books that are being thrown away. But I think at the same time, if we actually use statistics um, to look at books 
um, that have been important to our community and to actually get an idea of everyone in the community through those statistics, um, that's a much better way to um, actually manage a, public, a library's collection. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, yeah, I just want to piggyback on Chai's. The first thing I do want to say is there's been quite a lot of ugliness tonight around something so beautiful that we're talking about our community and the books that we want to share in and that everybody wants a list of these books. But everybody's villainizing this one for doing their job. And it just seems like a lot of ugliness, people clapping when people's sides are hurt, and then people just silent when their side isn't being listened to. It's just really ugly, actually. I'm really shocked to be in a primarily adult meeting and hear this kind of feedback from people. Also, not to be offensive, but I mean, since the past few past year or so, I finally gotten to feel like, as a person of color, that the Albany Library has been more diverse. And I mean, if you look around this room, I don't feel represented at all. I mean, also especially by this board, not to be offensive or anything. Um, and, and I've seen these flyers around town. I really disagree. I really think that just because the shelves are empty doesn't mean they won't be filled. Doesn't mean you won't be able to explore and find a new book that interests you that you might not have thought about from somebody who might just be published. You can't rule it all out. Also, I mean, books, old books are gross. I mean, I know I wouldn't bring kids <laughs> that I babysit here and have them deal with books that are all sticky. It's a health concern, frankly, and I, um, you know, I commend the librarian for doing what she needed to do. And it's not a job that any librarian probably wants to do. It's probably the hardest thing they can do. So I think people need to kind of ease up a little bit. Everyone's using such crazy words and making this like really more dramatic than it needs to be. Like the books will be, the shelves will be filled, you'll get new content, and you'll get the old content. It's not like these books are never coming back. You'll find them. So that's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.